Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I did this exact video on this puzzle, but I found a lot easier way to cut just individual lines. Instead of deleting all the everything I did the first time, we're gonna just do this really quick. I've smart filled all these squares in, so I'm gonna left click, I'm gonna turn them red. Now, with it selected, grab your shape tool and you get all the nodes. Select all your nodes, right click and break it apart. Now take your virtual segment delete key and delete all those lines. Now we can take this line right here, make sure you get it all. So that one's not broken apart. So we're gonna right click and well, I'm gonna have to go to object and break the curve apart. So make sure you get that entire line, go up to object and combine it. Take this one, see the same thing, it's not grabbing that one. I must have, let me move that out of the way. See how I accidentally took too much on that combine. So let's just back up, make sure I don't get that one line. It might be easier to select it, and nudge it out of the way, and we need that part back so we can take the, the shape tool and right click. Well, it's broken apart. So now we can just select it with the shape tool and put it back. Well, that didn't work because it's still connected to that one. Um, I'm going to, I'm left clicking, left clicking, left clicking, left clicking. So now it made that line. Now grab this line and whenever you grab something and it's over here, you've got to go to object and break the curve apart. Go to this object and select it and combine it. Select this one and go to object and combine it. Now grab that handle node and have it snap to it. And this is where you can actually change up your puzzle a little bit, but you don't have to right now. I hit the plus key on the keyboard and I'm gonna move that down and have it snap to there. I'm gonna grab that, hit the plus key on the keyboard, and I'm gonna move it over to where it snaps. Now we're gonna open up the effects in Blend Docker, and I'm gonna select that one, holding down the shift and select that one, and I'm gonna blend it four times. Now they're all equal, but we're gonna change that in just a second. Grab that one, hold down the shift, grab that one and blend it four times. Now, grab all of it and go to object and break the six objects apart. You still might have to ungroup them for this to work. So we're gonna ungroup those center ones. Basically, we broke, broke the blend apart, but now we need to break the individual lines apart. And just go to object and ungroup. Now we have individual lines. Now, the only disadvantage is that our puzzle's kind of messed up. But what's so neat about this, you can actually take this line and mirror it. So now you've got an out and an in. We need to take this one and mirror it. So now you have the way it should look. You could actually take that and mirror it if you want the exact puzzle. And you could do that all throughout the, the other part of the puzzle. But the advantage of this, the laser is gonna tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna delete all the par parts of the other puzzle. So I only have my new puzzle on the board. And I am gonna bring up the object manager. Windows, Dockers, objects, or object manager. And you're gonna see which one it's gonna cut. It's gonna cut that line first. We're gonna move up. It's gonna cut that line, that line, that line, that line. And then it's gonna cut that line. So it's even in order. So it's gonna cut those lines really fast with a vector cut, but not double cut because there's nothing inside. And you know, you can see that we've messed this up a little bit so we can, or not messed it up, but we can um, change the puzzle look quite a bit by just mirroring the object. If, you know, you can mess, that you know, the real, the original puzzle that the gentleman sent me was for a small child. So every piece like that has interior, interior, but it has, this one has two exterior. 
So not every piece now is equal. Like this is two ends in one out or three ends in one out. We could change that, but now, now it's back to the original puzzle. Every part, so you could make the puzzle just a little bit harder because there's, there's only two pieces that are like that, that are inside parts and we'll just kind of show it off by filling in those two pieces, that piece. I think all the rest of them are a little bit different because see this should be an end, but it's got two, two outer caps. Now you could make them all the same and make it a very easy puzzle where all they uh, would fit, but this might make it a little bit more fun and challenging, but it'll make your laser run a lot faster to cut it out and only cut the line one time. I hope that made a little bit of sense and thank you for watching.